another BurningMonkey.net tutorial. We got the a simple website here. We got the top logo, the title, and some text. And we're gonna be placing an image here. So I go to my folder where I have my website placed. As you can see, I have a website here, index.html. I got some images, just for example. Go ahead and drag it in, drop it in, C2P, that's what I'm gonna name it. And this is for the first example, it's very simple. You just right click on the image, click a line, and wherever you want, right, left, middle. So that's the first method. It's very simple, very, very basic, and doesn't really do much. So that's one way. And you you can also type some text. Oh, let me undo that. Type some text. They should be able to type some text. No, it's not moving it. Should be able to text type some text and I'll shift it over. Not doing it right now. Being mean. But you should be able to. If not, whatever. Let's go ahead and continue with the next method. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a table. Now I'll do it this place one row and three columns. And you can play around with this. And as you can see we got three boxes now. You can go ahead and drag and drop the image into any of these boxes. And now you can say, you can click on the entire box, entire table, I should say, and right down below you have a, a line, and you can move it to the left, to the right, and as you can see, like before, you can see this, don't worry about that, we can change this later. But now the whole table has shifted to the right of the entire website, and as you resize this, you have that flexibility there. It always stays on the right side of the page no matter where it's aligned. So now go ahead and click on a table again. So that's the tricky part. And go ahead and center now. And I'll always keep it in the center of the page. No matter how big or how small it gets to shrink. Okay. And now you can also move this over by just clicking the picture and moving to this side. And you can even have more pictures. So let's say if I clone this, copy and paste it here, whatever, and paste it there. Now you have three images, and we go ahead and save it. Now it's keeping all those three images within the table in the center. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and delete this, this. Let's say I only wanted one column. So you go down here, rows and columns, you can add more. And now I'll go ahead and place that image in there. So I'm going to go over here, just drag and drop it in there. Make it very easy, very simple. And now go ahead and save it. As you can see now, we only have one table and it's in the center. So now we want to get rid of this border around the table. So in order to do that, click on the table. The cell padding is zero. The cell space is zero. And the border is zero. And now you have no border. And we save it you won't see a border of the table. Now we can also change the background of the table. So if you want to put a background image or change the color of the background for some reason you can go ahead and go to the code mode within Adobe Dreamweaver right where this table width 200 border and all this code is you can just go background color BG color and so you can even select the color that you want from the swatches or you can type in the six hex code and uh, you can see that the border has now changed to that color so when we go ahead and save it you can basically barely see it right here on the sides okay so now we go on with the next method which are divs table divs or div tags so in order to get that shown depending on what dream we were using. If you're using CS3 you already have it there. If not, if you're using anything higher than that, you're going to have to go to Window, Workspace Layout, and select Classic. Now I already have it selected so I'll just go down to Layout and here is Draw AP Div. You just click it and draw the size of the square or whatever. Um, you can always change the size later. And you're going to go ahead and place your image there. Now this is cool because this allows you to place it anywhere without having to say, oh, I'll line center or I'll line right. And just, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And now we can place this box anywhere freely with the use of our mouse anywhere. 
literally anywhere. We can even put this like right here, save it, and there it is, like right there. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of change going on, so we got to readjust this, and you can play around with it so that you get exactly where you want it. So that's one of the things that you have to watch out with this. But the cool thing is that you can place it anywhere, literally anywhere on the page, and it'll be there. And you can do multiple of them. So I'm going to go ahead and place another AP div, and I'll show you something cool with this. Is to drag and drop this image there. This huge image of a monkey. But I'm going to go ahead and resize this 200, 300. And as you can see, that took a little while there because the image is so huge and go ahead and place this monkey there, save it, and now you can see the page is now here with the monkey and a click to play. Now the cool thing about this is it's a lot like layers where you can put one above the other. So right now I can put this right there, save it, and there you go. And let's say I want the monkey below the click to play. You can also do that by just clicking here on the div uh, border and you're going to look for this Z index. Change this to 2 because whatever the number is higher, it's always going to be on top. So right now, this monkey is also at 2, so we're going to change this to 1. And now, as soon as we do that and we click off the whip or off any of these divs, you'll notice that the monkey is now in the back. And when we save it, that's exactly what shows. Click to play. So this is really cool to get some advanced uh, things advanced uh, as an advanced look or you want to put something that is not structured in website so that's cool and you can even put text so you can do text you can put JavaScript you can put various things in there you can even put like a let's say this a mini HTML5 game or or a gif or um, a video you can put YouTube videos um, and you can move them around wherever you want that's just a little couple examples there you can put the top logo within there so I could just go copy and paste this into another one and then you can go ahead and put this anywhere in case you didn't want to do that and when we save it places anywhere and those are really cool and easy tips to place an image anywhere you want simple it's easy and that's one of the things that is great about Dreamweaver it really allows the designer to do complex things with no code at all as you can see I barely touched code and the only time I did touch code was just to change the color of the background of the table and even then even, even then you didn't need to and like right here as I click on this div box you can even see background color you can even change that too and as, as easy as just clicking background uh, color, you can select color with the swatches and you can even type in your own code. Even if you don't know any, three, four, five, six, and there you go. Change the color. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. And uh, I hope to hear great things that uh, you were able to finish, uh, that you're all able to finish your projects and whatnot. Thanks and awesome.